Hi, we are from the group Venture Vultures and our group consists of five members which are Gordon, Nurma Shara, Rania Mila, Nushafia Sama and Nazril. I'll be the, my name is Nushafia Sama and I'll be the first presenter. AirAsia is a Malaysian multinational low-cost airline based near Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. AirAsia was founded in 2003 and is now the largest airline in Malaysia, categorized by fleet size and destinations. Despite being a big company, having affiliate airlines such as Thai AirAsia, Indonesia AirAsia, Philippines AirAsia and AirAsia India was also described as the pioneer of low-cost travel in Asia by the New York Times back in 2007 and has consistently been named as the world's best low-cost career for 11 years by Skytrax in 2019, AirAsia has yet to solve the poor online customer service issue. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, AirAsia's performance achievement has decreased significantly because of its poor online customer service issue. It is transparent to AirAsia's customer that the company is facing poor online customer service issues where customers are consistently in confusion as their flight time is never the same as the one they book online or in other words, constantly rescheduled. Being one of the low-cost airlines to exist in Malaysia, it would mean providing an affordable pricing strategy to satisfy and create loyalty for their customers. However, AirAsia has faced some online customer service issues that have shaken its strategy to attract more customers and establish loyalty. Firstly, due to the pandemic, they have faced many refund issues where customers would have difficulties trying to refund their tickets where they must wait a certain period to deal with their refund. This eventually led to a backlog refund issues that upset a lot of customers. Other than that, uh, customers had difficulties contacting the customer service channel. Commonly, customers will be directed to Asia Virtual All-Star AVA. However, there are still concerns to maintain customers' loyalty as a live agent would be more convenient for customers to deal with more detailed questions. So, the first objective is to develop strong interpersonal skill among the employees. Basically, interpersonal skill can be referred to as the way we communicate and interact with other people. Eventually, there are several types of interpersonal skills such as verbal and nonverbal communications, teamwork, the ability to handle conflict, and a positive attitude. Hence, the employees of AISHA will be able to work as a team to resolve any issue or conflicts that arise in the company. The second objective is to develop skill in learning the function of the use of the digital application to improve work in the workplace. In the era of the modern workplace, the use of digital application is very familiar to facilitate the management of lots of work. Therefore, it is important to have knowledge of digital skill, especially for companies or businesses that have thrived. Thus, the employees will be able to implement useful ICT skill and knowledge in managing various demands from the customers via an online platform. The third objective is to improve the leadership skill among the employees. In this context, a great leader possesses several important qualities that contribute to their success. Therefore, sub-leadership development can have massive benefit both in work and personal life. For an instance, a good leader will be able to handle or delegate responsibilities as well as stop problems in the workplace. Thus, the employees of AISHA will be more confident in handling issues and problems in company during difficult situations. Next, a lesson plan. The purpose we build a lesson plan is to provide training in AISHA team members with a general outline of the training program that might relate to their works call. So basically, the slide has shown the schedule of the lesson plan which consists session 1, session 2, and session 3. The training program will be conducted for only one day via Zoom meeting application. So basically, for the welcoming session which is on at 30 a.m. until 9 a.m., there will be a welcoming session where the trainees and the trainers will be welcoming to the Zoom meeting application 30 minutes early than the usual time of the meeting. So, during this session 1, which consists a topic of hashtag ask me anything, the trainees will be performing a few activities such as perform a pop quiz on what they know about Air Asia. After that, they will be given um, a talk about the purpose of the training program and the expected outcomes that they will gain during the end of the training session. So, the range time for this session 1 is from 9 o'clock until 11 o'clock in the morning. So in this session one, Air Asia company crew are hoping that the trainers are able to improve their knowledge about the company based on the activity that they have conducted. Plus, 
The trainees also could increase their retention and loyalty to the company based on their new learning and the development policies that they have exposed. Plus, the expected outcomes from activity in session one is the trainees are able to realize the true potential that actually can be developed after the training program. Next is session two, which is on 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. So, in this session two, the topic that will be discussed is about hashtag AirAsia Digital. So, basically, AirAsia has produced a new digital application, which is AirAsia Super App. So, the trainers will be brief the trainees about the latest function of the digital application, which is Super App, that might be developed during working on the job. So this AirAsia Super App is benefits to all, especially to the customers. While for the management, an Asia team has prepared an application such as AirAsia Got Talent. This AirAsia Got Talent is a newly AI driven platform that created by the AirAsia team to keep their employees' performance, common skills, experience, short and long term project that proposed by AirAsia Group. So the expected outcomes from this session to is the trainees will be able to improve their ICT skills to be more efficient. With an existing management application such as AirAsia Cotillion, it will provide efficient system that record employee performance that could be referenced in the future. Then with the session two, trainees and the trainer will be given one hour to rest and come back at 2 p.m. Moving forward to the last session, which is session 3, the topic that will be covered is hashtag all-star leadership. So basically, the first activity in this session 3 is mentoring session. This mentoring session will be conducted by a senior program in AirAsia team. So basically, this trainer will be sharing their experience during working with AirAsia team before the pandemic COVID-19. Plus, they also share their advices on how to manage people professionally based on their past experience during working with Air Asia. Plus, the trainer also lists out on how to be a great leader during tense time. This will benefit to the trainees where they can develop it during the working on the job. The expected outcomes from this session is the trainers will, will develop interpersonal skills, behavior, and mindset in order to manage customer based on the sharing experience from the trainers earlier. Plus, from the trainers sharing session, it will improve trainees to be more critical thinking in decision making, especially when, we, when they are dealing with the refunds issue that could occur anytime during working on the job. Last but not least, from the activities which is pick out the result of your personality test, it will improve the training's communication skills. All of this session will using a lecture method which is mentoring and slides show which is using a PowerPoint presentation. At the end of this training program, there will be a last activity which is the multiple choice poll, which is the trainee need to share their feeling and feedback to the overall training program via fun poll. At least from this fun poll activity, the trainers can gain training satisfaction and feedback toward the training program, which can be improved during the upcoming training program. At 4.30 p.m., there will be a photo session between trainers and trainees Air Asia team that will be approved that they have joined the training program. Since the training program conducted online, there is no budget needed. To evaluate the training program, we use Kirkpatrick four levels of evaluation model, which are reaction, learning, behavior, and results. So let's dive into the Kirkpatrick model. Level 1, reaction. How are the participants reacting to the training program? It is to see how satisfied are they. In this level, we conduct survey questions to measure reaction data. Next, level 2, where we measured are the participants learn something new like such as new knowledge or new skills. And to measure this, a pretest and post-test need to be used. For this level, the participant will be asked to answer the course content section in the survey question that we provide. Level 3, behavior. At this level, we identified the participant behaving differently on the job. However, the attitude changes may be affected by the employee's attitude, organization condition, and the, their learning environment. 
So after we so after we identified their behavior, we move to the last stage, uh, which is level four. That is the most time consuming to be achieve the desired result. It may take at least three months after the training program. Overall, this level focus on training outcomes, and we see the result through different aspects such as organization sales and their product quality. Last part of the slide is organization development or OD intervention. OD intervention can be referred to as a structured program that is designed to solve a problem and encourage improvement in an organization's function to accomplish its goals. The first intervention is human process intervention. Human process intervention is an approach to developing individual performance and interpersonal skills. In this case, the company will design a training called All-Star Leadership to teach the employees useful skills and knowledge required to perform their specific tasks. And group activities can improve their problem-solving skills by doing work as a team. Next, they also will focus on organizational confrontation meetings where the company should hold a meeting to identify issues and set an effective approach to address them together. Next is human resource management intervention. This intervention is a technique that focuses on developing and managing employees in an organization. To do so, we will design a training that focuses on coaching and mentoring the employees regarding behavioral issues. The coaching and mentoring approach is important as the employee can improve their professionals on the job performance. Besides, we also will implement management and leadership development as the employee will learn effective leadership skills and the ability to manage the organization so that they can resolve difficult situations. Lastly, we will implement training called Air Asia Digital to increase the knowledge and use of ICT among the employees. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.